Doing Fist 101, episode two, what's good my Nigerians? Today's episode, I'm gonna be teaching you how to do a turn punch. Now, you need to watch the first episode of Doing Fist 101 because this Doing Fist tech will involve the use of punch jumping, which was explained in episode one. So if you haven't seen that, or you don't know how to do it because you're a newbie, then go watch that video before this one, please. Turn punching is a Doomfist tech which will allow you to use the punch jump around a corner, basically. So punch jumping allows me to use my mobility better by being harder to hit. So I will show you how it looks like. You see? You can transfer the linear momentum forwardly around a corner and this uh, it's it caps it at 45 degrees so as you can see when I charge my punch you can look to the left 45 degrees and I'll, I'll show you, you can do the left and right you see the maximum it allows you to go is 45 degrees from the straight line so wherever you charge your punch from you can look 45 degrees once you're looking 45 degrees from that you will want to jump so let's say I want to do it around here. I look 45 degrees to the right and jump. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Now you can use punch jumping to make it harder for you to be hit by enemies. So let's say they're running a widow high ground there. You want to use your slam uppercut combo and get the fuck out of there as soon as you can, right? So you can slam in around this corner and punch jump around the corner. But you, by punch jumping, you want to turn punch as well. You do it very quickly. I'll show you again. Like that. Like again, from the last episode, you don't want to be in midair and charge your punch for a very long time because you'll be you will just get shut down immediately. You want to do it fast. So you've got to move your mouse very quickly to the left or right when you want to do it like that and you will go instead of the forward way where you would go where you charge a punch you will go 45 degrees to the left that's all there is to it it's very useful mobility trick to stop you from uh, getting hit or to prevent the amount of deaths you'll have you'll find uh, the more you practice it the easier it becomes it's very easy to do once you get the gist of it that's all there is to it now since this tech is combining two things I would give it a two star for difficulty but both of the things you need to do are very simple. So I'm going to give it a 1. Same as punch jumping. If you know punch jumping, you know how to do this, basically. You just get the hang of it very quickly. Just learn one by one, and you'll get through it. Easy clap. Okay, so that's turn punching in a nutshell. That's all there is to it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you now know how to turn punch. And the amount of times you'll be killed by a widow on high ground will be less now, because your mobility is better. And he's a very mobility-based hero, so you need to uh, learn these techs in order to get in and get the fuck out of there as soon as you can. So, let me know what you thought about this. Let me know if there's any techs you want me to cover. And stay safe out there, my Nigerians.